Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. True or false? The square root of 4 is equal to plus or minus 2. This problem is a follow-up problem to the video I uploaded on whether two radicals are true or false. You can pause the video and see if you can identify the reason why this is true or this is false. Now, let's solve this problem together. This kind of question is oftentimes causing a lot of debate. There's a difference when you are computing for the value of the expression and you are solving for an equation. Right here, what is given is the square root of 4. So we have the square root of 4. So we are computing for the value of this expression, square root of 4. We are not solving an equation, we are computing. This is just pure computation. When there is no sign before the square root symbol, it is implied that we are computing for the principal square root or the positive square root. Therefore, this is just equal to positive 2. Therefore, the square root of 4 is not equal to plus or minus 2. This is false. Now, if we want this negative 2, then we should have written it as minus the square root of 4. That is when this is equal to negative 2. Now, some are saying, what about that definition that the square root of x squared, or for this matter, as long as the exponents are even, this is equal to the absolute value of x, as long as the index and the exponents are both even. Now, notice here that what this is saying is the right side is always positive because the absolute value of a number is always positive, and that is this positive here. It does not include the minus sign. That's why the answer here is positive 2. Notice that in here, we are solving for the value of the expression. We are not solving for the value of x. We are solving for the value of the expression. This is just pure computation. It is different if you have an equation. Let's say you have x squared is equal to 4. This time, you are not computing for the value of the expression. You are looking for the value of x that will satisfy this equation. And that is the case when you now say, take the square root of both sides, and then at the right side, you have plus or minus the square root of 4. And so you have x is equal to plus or minus 2. Notice now here that there are two values for x. That is, the value that you are going to substitute to this x. We are not saying, what is the value at the right? We are saying, find the value of x that will result to 4. Whereas here, find the value of that radical expression itself. And the right side is positive. So this is now to clarify this misconception. When there is no sign before this square root symbol, that is implied to be the principal square root and the answer is positive. When there is a minus sign and you take the square root, the answer is negative. That is when you are performing computation. When do we use this plus or minus sign? When we are solving equation like this quadratic equation, we know that there are two roots for this quadratic equation and those are the plus or minus two. Now another confusion is because we have here the absolute value. You are thinking that you can substitute positive 2 and negative 2 inside this absolute value symbol and still positive. But we are reading this wrong. We are reading it as from the left, you are looking for the value of this expression and the answer is always positive because it's an absolute value. It's not the other way around. Remember, we are not solving for the value of x here. We are computing for the value of the expression. Whereas here, we are solving for the value of x. We are solving an equation and there are two possible roots that can satisfy this equation. And one more thing, when we have the square root of 4, our intention here is to get the positive root. So that when you have an equation, let's say 5 plus square root of 4, then we know that this is equal to 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7. Whereas, if you want 5 minus square root of 4, when we compute for this, we know that we want the negative of square root of 4 because we have 5 minus square root of 4, which is 2, and this is equal to 3. Granting that your answer that the square root of 4 is plus or minus, then we have a problem here because this one will result to two computed values, and this one will result also to two computed values, and you can no longer distinguish which one is 5 plus square root of 4 and one is 5 minus square root of 4. So we need to make sure that our intention when we write the square root of 4 or negative square root of 4 is 
specific. Otherwise, you will come up with a lot of confusion substituting two possible values for the value of the square root of 4 here, and you will also do the same thing here, and you can no longer distinguish these two different expressions. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.